And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different guy of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are <laughs> together again on the radio. So good to be here. Uh, uh, this is the most fun job in the world, as you will see this hour. It's the most fun job in the world. It does not get better than this. It really doesn't. We enjoy it because, uh, my goodness, you never know what's going to happen on this program. In fact, people who work on this program never know what's going to happen on this program, and that's what's best. That is the best of all. Sometimes we do things on this program, and uh, uh, even, I, I must say, even I don't know what's going to come out of my, my mouth on any given day. But uh, I would like to read to you now from Wikipedia, which has become many people's go-to source for information. And uh, let me read to you a little history here. I think it's important. Um, and especially if you live in Southern California, you know, uh, maybe some of you uh, uh, like to know about uh, the history of Southern California. Maybe you're new to the community and you'd like to know more. Consider me your wellspring of information. Here is, uh, here is a listing from Wikipedia. This is about Dean D'Amelio's new home, West Hollywood, California. <laughs> West Hollywood. An incorporated city in Los Angeles County, California. Was founded on November 29th, 1984. The total residential population is just over 37,000. However, the nighttime and weekend population swells. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> It swells to between 80,000 and 100,000, with a high of up to 500,000 during major events such as Halloween or the Gay and Lesbian Pride Parade, according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, which provides police services for West Hollywood. The city, this is our... Associate producer Dean J. D'Amelio's new home. The city is one of the most notable gay villages in the United States. The area is occasionally referred to as WeHo and Boys Town. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is fascinating. Now I'm going to skip ahead uh, because there's a bunch of unrelated history in here but let's get to the part uh, the meat of the matter here as it were yes it says here that in the 1960s a club called Chiros held the first gay dance nights on Sundays known as tea dances men dancing together was illegal in those days but as with the casinos and speakeasies that had gone before the laws were not strictly enforced. This tolerance led to more gay clubs after Chiro's closed, as well as the end of the anti-gay laws that prohibited dancing between two persons of the same gender in Los Angeles County. The building that, uh, that Chiro's occupied is now the home of the comedy store. Always friendly to creative folks, the design and decorating industry took root in the 1950s, culminating in the completion of the 750,000-square-foot Pacific Design Center in 1975. 
The 1960s brought hippie culture and a thriving music publishing industry to town. Emboldened by the Stonewall riots of 1969, that was in New York City, by the way, gays from all over Los Angeles flocked to West Hollywood, many fleeing from the homophobic harassment of the Los Angeles Police Department, the LAPD. Still unincorporated, gays and lesbians found refuge here, patrolled by the markedly less brutal Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The most recent migration to West Hollywood, besides Dean D'Amelio, uh, came about after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, when thousands of Russian Jews, who, by the way, probably didn't know it was a gay area, immigrated to the city. A majority of the five to 6,000 Russian Jews settled in two major immigration waves, 1978 to 79 and 1988 to 92. Approximately 13% of the current city population is Russian speaking. West Hollywood, therefore, was a community of persecuted and creative citizens. Where else would Dean move? Right for the political organization which began in earnest in 1984. Still governed by the county of Los Angeles, there arose a great revolt when L.A. began to dismantle rent control. This area was a densely populated area of renters, many of whom would not be able to afford the skyrocketing prices in the rental market of that time. Greatly assisted by the Community for Economic Survival, a tight coalition of seniors, Jews, gays, and renters swiftly voted to incorporate as the city of West Hollywood, immediately adopting one of the strongest rent control laws in the nation. By the way, the vacancy control part of the ordinance has since been rendered null by an act of the state legislature in the early 1990s called Costa Hawkins that effectively ended strong rent control measures in California. West Hollywood, with a gay population of 41%, has been disproportionately affected by the HIV-AIDS epidemic, which has ravaged the gay male population since the early 1980s. Always in the vanguard of services to its residents, the city funds or subsidizes a vast array of services for those living with HIV or AIDS. AIDS Healthcare Foundation parks a mobile HIV STD testing van outside of the city's busiest nightclubs on Friday and Saturday nights and again on Sunday afternoons. It goes on to say later on here that the city of West Hollywood permits all residents living with HIV or AIDS to have up to two pets in his or her home regardless of a landlord's specifications in the property's lease. West Hollywood subsidizes programs for its growing population of children through a partnership with the USDA and local schools. The city of West Hollywood also seeks to address the health needs of residents who might not have adequate insurance by subsidizing the L.A. Free Clinic and the L.A. Gay and Lesbian Center. Between these two sites, residents can access free medical, dental, legal, and mental health services. The city's Women's Advisory Board publishes guides on sexual assault prevention, nightclub safety, and how to access rape services. And uh, it just goes on and on. West Hollywood, first city in the country to have a majority gay city council. In 1985, the first city to have same gender domestic partnership registration for its residents, as well as the same gender domestic partner benefits for its employees, the city is also one of 92 jurisdictions in the country where it was, it's illegal to discriminate on the basis of gender identity or expression. So if Dean decides one day that he's actually a woman in a man's body, he, he cannot be denied service. If he goes into IOP, they, they have to give him the chocolate chip pancakes. No keeping him out. And I bet he can use the ladies' room, too. It doesn't say that in here, but I'll bet it's true. So uh, it goes on and on. We are very, very excited that uh, Dean now is uh, is going to be going to his new apartment. He's very excited about it. And I thought it might be nice, uh, uh, Dean, a nice young Italian boy uh, coming to the 90069. I thought it might be nice if some of his future neighbors called up and welcomed him to the neighborhood. And so um, if you are a resident of West Hollywood, uh, we would like to uh, certainly encourage you in the spirit of the diversity that I love about Southern California. I would like to encourage uh, anybody who lives 
90046, 90069, the zip codes of West Hollywood. I would encourage you to call in and welcome our boy Dino to your fine city. He's coming soon. And uh, I know he will want to know that you're all behind him. So uh, our telephone number, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And we will have the West Hollywood salute to Dean J. DiMedio coming up next. Tom, Tom, Tom. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. So, Dean J. D'Amelio needed a new apartment. And, uh, Dean, where'd you find this apartment? Uh, I was actually tipped off, and, uh, I found... I'm gonna take over somebody's lease, actually, so... It's something I couldn't pass up. You're subleasing. Correct. I see. Some of that rent control, and I'm lucky enough to, uh, step in... Step into the breach, as you say. Yes. What are you, a couple of weeks away? Uh, yeah, I believe June 1st is now the, uh, official move-in date, so... I have a little bit of time to prepare. Very I'm very nice. excited. Absolutely. Very good. And uh, will there be a housewarming party? Yeah, you know you're the first on the list to come by. you got to oh, see be, this to believe this. I'll be coming by. Absolutely. Oh, I'm yeah. very excited, I have to tell you. I know there's a lot of boys who are waiting for you to get to uh, West Hollywood as well. I'm sure they're licking their chops. <laughs> <laughs> All these push-ups, like you say, are paying off for me. I guess they are. Oh, great. Well, let's get some of these callers on the air. Uh, that was some of Dean's uh, future neighbors <laughs> uh, are calling in from West Hollywood, which, as you know, as we told you, has now been a city for 24 years. And uh, they now uh, will be the newest addition. So uh, let's go to your calls here at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you guys doing? All right, Jim. Hey, good. I just wonder if Dean um, knew how they separate the men from the boys in West Hollywood. <laughs> go ahead and tell me, Jim. Uh, with the crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. We're off to a roaring start. Oh here. boy. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Uh, this is Miguel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hola, papa. Como estas? <laughs> Doing okay so far, Miguel. Hey, well, it's, uh, he's, uh, getting closer to coming out the closet. At least he doesn't have to worry if he gets diarrhea because, uh, he'll find a, a plug for that thing. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> out of the same material. You're the best, Miguel. Oh, my. Thanks for the welcome. There you go. This is going to be a big party. I'll tell you what. When oh, Dino man. gets to West Hollywood to his new apartment. Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay, Steve. I just got to defend the neighborhood here. The, the gay thing is an overblown stereotype. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but... So to speak. On, if you're on Santa Monica Boulevard, it exists. But once you're off of there, let's face it, it's not nearly what people make it out to be. Now, I live a little bit north of Sunset, so I'm just slightly removed from the mix. But... The bottom line is it's a great neighborhood because everybody in greater Los Angeles comes to your town to hang out on the weekend. You know, I'm curious about something, Steve. Are there any gay Russians in West Hollywood? I don't actually know offhand. That's, I have never met a gay Russian. I think that, I think if they were, they're not telling anybody because I think their culture does not is so welcoming to it. I have no idea, though. But, you know, like I said, you got the luxury of everybody's come. Any girl you meet is excited when you live there because they all want to come to all the nightlife in West Hollywood. So it's a great, convenient place to be. Everybody comes to your neighborhood to party on the weekend. You can walk, do anything you want. You're in the center point of it all. I think the gay thing is a little exaggerated uh, anymore. I think you got gays in any town, anywhere you go anymore. It really is not so much like it was 24 years ago. Maybe there was a higher concentration. But they've, they're, they're everywhere. But it's a great town. You're in the midst. Everything's around there. Every major thing you hear about in L.A. is all pretty much West Hollywood. All right. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad Steve brought that up, and I'll tell you why. Because I consider myself now officially Beverly Hills adjacent, and I'm within stumbling distance of some of the greatest bars on the Sunset Strip. I'm a block from it, so I'm I'm pretty excited. I mean, I don't consider Santa Monica Boulevard my stomping grounds, but just a little bit north, Sunset. Thank you very much. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Casey. 
on the Tom Likas show. Oh, hi. I just want to say congratulations, Dean, on moving in. Right on. Beautiful place. Graffiti. Chapless pants. <laughs> and at night, man, you got to... Instead of watching your back with the games, you got to watch something else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got to say, they love the hot Italian men. Oh, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Yeah, but... Well, this is a housewarming party. Monday. This is a housewarming party that I am not going to miss. <laughs> you could definitely I'm telling you right now. Yeah, you could of the gauge. But, well, congratulations. And if you could take me out, uh, what was it? Uh, the helicopter. I know it's tasteless. Oh, my God. That, the guy in the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can do that. It, it is tasteless, though. This may be the end of this thing. Well, he's taking okay, off, he's out, running. Okay, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumped into another, another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. All right, they're closing in. Police. Looks okay. like they've. Oh, Jesus. We're, we're going to pull out. We don't. We don't. Uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. <laughs> oh, wow. It's tasteless. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, I understand that Mayor Art Deco wants to give you the key to the city. By the way, I'm, I'll tell you what: that nothing but red carpets have been rolled out for me since I made this announcement a few weeks ago. So I'm pretty excited. I'll be gracious and accept that key. Our associate producer Dean J. D'Amelio is uh, moving to West Hollywood, and we are talking to the residents of West Hollywood to gauge uh, their excitement level. Let's say hello here to Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Tom, how you doing? First I'm time, long doing time. Doing okay, Jim. Hey, uh, welcome, Dean. Thanks, Jim. We're, we're looking forward to having you here. But um, you know, the other guy said said it the best. The uh, the nightlife is is you know a little gayish along Santa Monica Boulevard downtown. But you know, once you get away east or west, up or down, north or south, you know it's it's really you know families and moms and dads with baby strollers and all that good stuff. I live right near the city hall and um, basics restaurant across the street there. And uh, Merrick's and uh, a couple of other little places. Um, they're full of um, gay guys, but, um, you know, babies and moms and dads. Babies in West Hollywood? I've never seen that. No babies? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're in my neighborhood. Again, I I live up in the hills well, above West Hollywood, hey. and I have to drive through West Hollywood to get home. Sure. I haven't seen a lot of babies and strollers. You haven't. I've seen Russians. Lots of Russians. <laughs> well, I'm still it, waiting to meet the first gay Russian who lives in West Hollywood. I don't know any of them either. So, um, but in my neighborhood, there's a lot of babies, babies and strollers on on Flores, on Kings Road, on Sweetser. Yep. Yes. All the time. And Tom, didn't you do a show one time down at Mickey's or? Yes, or, I did. Yeah. When you yes. come back, we had. In fact, we had a Rachera. Yes. Yes, we did. And now that Dean is coming to town, there's all kinds of promotional possibilities. There you go. We can't wait. When are you coming back to Rage or Mickey's when they open up? Uh, we go wherever we are invited, and uh, we don't say no to anything, really. If uh, if the uh, venue uh, can uh, handle a broadcast, we go. Well, we'll get your name out there again. Good. Listen to you for, for 15 years at least. Love it. And we love you to death here, Tom. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for the call. West Hollywood checking in. Dean J. D'Amelio, our screener. He's moving to West Hollywood, and the residents of West Hollywood are responding here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Yes, how are you doing today? Okay. Is this Dean? I'm right here, buddy. What's up, Ryan? Hey, Dean. How you doing? Excellent. I'm West Hollywood. Oh, correct. This is going to be great, man. I can't oh, wait no, to see no. everybody. No, Dean, I'm going to tell you right now, I can't wait for you to move in. Um, I've, I've got these chapless pants I wear sometimes. Very exciting. Um, I, dress, I dress up every Friday. I try to do like a little uh, routine. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm just trying to wonder, are you going to be able to have your party on a Friday by any chance? Because I just throw one style party for you. Okay, let's do it, Does that man. that sound like a good idea or what? Come on by. What kind of drinks do you like? I I like apple martinis and um, you know the pomegranates. <laughs> Terrific! Yeah, I'll drink whatever. I'm good. Thank you for that, Ryan. Great job, Ryan. Uh, this is Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Michael. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Thank you. And I got to say, you like us one on one principles that apply to the gay community as well as uh, everyone else. Absolutely, they uh, do. Absolutely. You know, Dean, welcome to the city. I live in on the, in the nine double zero four six on the east side of. Uh, 
the city. And, you know, I have not run into a gay Russian either. However, <laughs> uh, Dean, if you have any complications or any problems, rental problems, even though Costa Aukens has passed, there, you know, our city council listens to its residents and listens to its residents very loud and clearly. You know, I, I've been involved with in, in the local uh, city politics for a number of years, and I've never known of a city, local city council to listen to its residents as well as it does. So, uh, you know, it, the West Hollywood is pretty dense, and um, but it's got uh, it's got a lot of good things for, going for it, including a lot of the clubs up on Sunset Boulevard, the Roxy, the Whiskey, the Rainbow, and so, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, another resident moving in. What the hell? Thank you. Now, Thank uh, you. is the, the mayor is still Art Deco, correct? <laughs> John Duran is our current outgo, and then we, we will... We uh, will have a new mayor by the name of Jeffrey Prang who takes... Now, uh, you know, if a man named Art Deco ran for office in West Hollywood, he'd win because gay men love Art Deco. <laughs> he would win, no doubt about it, Tom. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank and you. And blow my ass up. Here, yeah. here you go. <laughs> I'm in for it. I am in for oh, it. Oh, well, they're going to be looking for you. <laughs> you bet. I better take you the know, light. You know how it is off. when I'm at Staples Center, I can't go three inches without someone stopping me? Wait till you get to West Hollywood and everybody knows you're coming to town. <laughs> the boys are ready. Uh, especially when we prominently feature your photograph on our website. So <laughs> anybody who sees you in the neighborhood can stop by and say hello. <laughs> when you're over there at the Mayfair Market. Gelson's. Oh, it's Gelson's now. That's yeah. right. And the Hollywood Cleaners. Boy, I was so excited just to go to the Palms and Dantana. Now this takes on a whole new level of where Absolutely. I can go. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? They're going to be waiting for you. Let's say hello here to James on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Not much, James. <laughs> hey, Dean. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, just wanted to let you know, you might want to take a black light to that apartment and uh, notice all the old parties that's gone on there. I'm sure it will be a lot of indigo blue or whatever. Yeah, indigo uh, blue. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, long time listener. Love you, man. Thank you. Thank you, James. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. The populist West Hollywood calling up to welcome <laughs> each soon-to-be newest resident, Dean J. Demilio. Ask for him by name, boys. Uh, this is Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Joe. Hey, Dean. What, uh, congratulations on your new pad. Thanks a lot, Joe. No problem. Hey, uh, listen, this is a very important question. Do you know how to pick up a quarter in West Hollywood? Not sure. Go ahead and tell us. You got to kick it to Santa Monica, brother. If you don't want to be violated, you got to kick it to Santa Monica. Now, that's not true. Sure it is. Can I kick it up to Sunset? Uh, forget it. Somehow it sounds like he has some personal information. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom and Dino. What's up, buddy? Dino, I'm living in Portland, Oregon right now, and... There's just way too many fat chicks up here. I'm turning gay. Do you need a roommate, buddy? <laughs> wow. I can't imagine Portland girls being that fat where you're just willing to go gay. But 90069, where I'm going, is apparently the place for men. Wait, are you telling me that, that explains the large gay population in Portland? Well, there is a very large gay population as well in Portland, but all the gay people these that are, are straight. Gay these are, are fat these too. are straight guys. Well, wait a minute. I thought these were straight guys who couldn't take all the fat chicks. Well, they are, but they're still fat. They're, they're fat as well, so they're living in the right town. They can still pick up on uh, fat gay guys, other fat Portlandites. <laughs> Dean, you're getting offers like crazy. This is unbelievable. Uh, Edward on the Tom Likas show with our uh, screener, Dino. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Looking forward to having you here. Sweet little Dean in his tight blue jeans. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I can't wait, Edward. Boy, these welcoming arms. I cannot wait for this day. It, it, by the way, your money, your, your money is no good time. here, Dean. You're, n you're never going to pay for an apple martini in this town again. I'll be Absolutely. really practicing one on one. I have a question, sweetheart. Which section are you moving to? I'm uh, moving uh, north of uh, Sun, uh, north of uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. So north of yes, slow for yeah. Okay, so closer to right Fountain. Up. Closer to Fountain. Oh, fantastic! We'll have you down. It'll be wonderful. We're all looking forward to giving you your first time, long time. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> this is. 
Edward, I can't tell you how happy I am that you're spreading the love like this. Thank you. Tell all your friends. I'm looking spreading you, darling. Tom <laughs> <laughs> like it. 1-800-5800. In a showing of how, how much we at the Tom Like Show embrace diversity in our community. Dean is moving to West Hollywood, a community that has been known over the years as a bastion of diversity. <laughs> and uh, some of the residents of uh, those two zip codes, uh, 90046, and by the way, I don't know who the jerker was at the federal government who gave West Hollywood 90069, <laughs> but... Uh, we are inviting uh, the residents to call in and welcome uh, their newest neighbor, Dean J. D'Amelio, our screener, our associate producer, at 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Max on the Tom Likas show for Dino. Hello. Hey, Tom. Long time, long time, long time. I have listened to you ever since you had to put up with that big old windbag Dr. Turkey Neck. That's a long time ago. Oh, my God. I remember when you first came on. I love the fact you bashed that friggin' bitch. But, uh, you know, you're gonna love West Hollywood because there's lots of hot girls, and they're frustrated to death because they see nice-looking older guys like me, they think I'm straight, they hit on me, and then they get all disappointed. So that means, hey, just more for you, boy. All right, all right, I, mean, I like yeah, those odds. We can hook this up, by the way. Would you like to be Dean's wingman? Why not? I'll, I'll, I'll hook him and I'll toss him to him. You could, uh, two of you could go to here, or next door to the <laughs> Abbey. No, actually, I don't hang in places like that. I like going to Barney's instead. Oh, Barney's. All right, that, that I can do. Right there at Holloway in Santa Monica. Oh, I, uh, Barney's uh, was a uh, hangout of mine for years and years. Yeah. Um, you, should, you should see all the girls hanging out there after the bar closes. They're trying to stagger their asses from there over to the IHOP to get someone to buy them pancakes, you know? <laughs> It's under 40 bucks. I'm in. Exactly. exactly. All right, Max. Good times. Not yeah. like a little imitation boysenberry syrup at 3 in the morning. <laughs> you know what? Hey, if it's sweet, they'll slurp it down. <laughs> He's talking about pancake syrup, okay? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Ian on the Tom Likas show for Dino. Hello. Hey, Tom, you're going to have to find a new name for uh, Portland, because now West Hollywood's going to be the home for the white meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, on the Tom Likas show for Dino. Hello. Hey, Dino. Welcome to my neighborhood, buddy. All right, Sam. Looking forward to it. June 1st, big day. Big day. Well, I think you are going to find a lot of us gay boys are uh, well astute uh, Tom student uh, fanatics and uh, students, because... We don't we don't let our tricks stay over. We don't marry them, and we certainly don't give them half of our stuff. So I think you're going to find some people out here who really understand the Tom Likas way. Like, like, if, if you do it right, you don't even bring them home. Exactly. There you go. See, there's a lot of you guys listeners who should uh, listen to their homo brethren and listen to Tom. So no right. doubt about it. Well, I'm the guy who said uh, years ago, over a decade ago, that gay men and straight men have more things in common than we would ever want to admit. Because uh, gay men don't like straight men. They, they want the shortest distance between two points. Mm -hmm. Pump yep. them and dump them. Yep, exactly. And uh, and we, we, we understand that. We, we don't, like I said, don't marry them. Don't give them half our stuff. And don't let them control our lives. Very nice. I'm proud of you, Sam. Well, and now, you, now, now you. you'll have our personal representative, Dean J. D'Amelio. <laughs> Hey, you know what? We we always need we always need a, a handsome, strapping, straight man for our, uh, for our lovely ladies. And know? he's got, by the way, he's Italian. Oh, is he? All right. Well, you know, we've got plenty of fag hags that we got to take care of. So <laughs> All right. We love our girls, and uh, if you can uh, make her happy, that'll be fine. See, Sam needs a wingman. Thank you, Sam. I do. I do. <laughs> any any bars that you suggest, Sam? That off the top of your head? Uh, off the top of my head, well, you know, Sam uh, needs you to take one for the team. Always, always like here. You know, you can always find lots of girls here. They're always hanging out with their boys, uh, looking to, you know, not have a, a be hassled or have a, a hard time. But if you get in there and you talk nice, you'll always find a, a nice little lady to, uh, to take home. And they'll always be excited to actually find a straight guy to talk to. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. There you go. 
Nothing all, like getting the nod from the gay community. Thank you, Sam. You're all Thank hooked you. up there, Dean. Uh, is Phil on the Tom Likas show for Dino? Hello. Hey, uh, Dino, just, uh, it's a great place, but you gotta be clear about what you're saying sometimes. Like, if you're gonna say, I'm off to the gym, sort of, uh, make it clear whether it's the G-Y-M or the G-Y-M. <laughs> <laughs> and if you say you're off to Dave and Buster's, it might be you're off to Dave and Bust one, but just, uh, just be a little more clear. That's really the only thing you gotta worry about. I'll, I'll definitely be clear. All right, got to blow me up. Here you go, Phil. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh, boy, Igor on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm a Russian gay here. <laughs> Come on. I've never seen one of those in West Hollywood ever. Yes, I, was live, I, I lived in West Hollywood for seven years. When you came to West Hollywood, did you know it was a gay city? Yes, I know what was a gay city. My relatives called me before. Why uh, Why do Russians like moving to West Hollywood? What is that all about? Uh, it was, I don't know why it started uh, Russian gay community there, but uh, there is a lot of stores in West Hollywood, the Russian stores, Russian restaurants. I know, but that's because the Russians are in West Hollywood. And I've always wondered, since West Hollywood was essentially founded uh, so that gays and lesbians could, could have the environment and the government they wanted and what have you, I always wondered why Russians felt an attraction to it. Uh, maybe Russians like gays. Maybe. <laughs> so you are a Russian homosexual? Yes. Wow. Um, I am... Russian homosexual, and uh, I, I've been glad to be in America. Are there many gay Russians in West Hollywood? No. Now, don't you think that's curious? If there are, there, I mean, certainly there's gay people in Russia like anywhere else. Why do the Russians who come to West Hollywood tend to be straight? Um, I don't know if they're trying to be straight or not, but uh, we have some, I, I, I know, I have two friends who is Russian gays. That's it. I don't know anybody else. I've noticed that. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Igor, can thank you very much. Can, can you blow me up, please? Yes, of course. <laughs> There you go. The, the count is now three Russian gay guys. It's Igor and his two friends. That's yes, it. That's it. That's all there is. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Thad. Oh no! On the top, as opposed to happy. No. Yeah. No, it's Thaddeus. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing, man? I'm doing okay. How's it hanging? Hanging right, Thad. <laughs> right. I'm surprised. I thought you would have said left, but that's cool. Hey, listen, uh, Dino. So you're moving to West Hollywood, huh? Absolutely. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm assuming you have yourself a refrigerator, do you? I do. Uh, you may want to upgrade that to a gay refrigerator. I believe there's a statute in the city that requires gay refrigerators. What is a gay refrigerator? Uh -huh. I'm going to play this straight. Drum roll. So please. what is yeah. a gay refrigerator? A, a gay refrigerator actually farts when you take your meat out. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, Thad. Please. <laughs> At least be funny. Model. <laughs> Oh my God. I don't think I've heard Gary ever laugh that hard. No. Now I'm hearing Gary down the hall screening the call. Wow, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I know how you guys feel now. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Uh, it's Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, do you know? Hey, hey Tom. I, hey. I'm one of, as, as some of your out of town guests call it, I'm one of the gays. The gays. <laughs> oh, the gays. Well, hey, you know, no, no, you know when I when I hear when I hear that it reminds me of Larry King. So yeah. uh, next week on the show, we're gonna have a representative of the gays. You know, one of the gays. Hello. How does it feel to be one of the gays? <laughs> no, but I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Uh, 
say is that, Dino, you're never, I've seen your picture. You're never going to have to pay for a drink again. And all you're going to have to do is just kind of flutter those eyes. Cool. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> Apparently I'm in the crosshairs, Scott. So very excited for that, uh, June 1st move in date. It's going to well, be good. You can, you can get all the girls though is just tell them you're a stripper at Rage or at, um, or a bartender at the Abbey because, you know, 70% of them are. Tell them you do that shaving foam night at Mickey's. Actually, no, I wish they did, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if he ever gets fired from the from the show, he can always be a stripper at Rage, and he'd make a bundle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Scott. 1-800-5800-TOM, the West Hollywood community, welcoming our boy Dino. Coming soon to the 90069 here. Hans, hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, Dino, this is Hans. Hello. <laughs> What's happening, my German friend? I'm very excited to join the area. I, I, I cannot explain how excited I am. I have, I, I don't know how to say this, but I have your picture by my pajamas. You have the Italian styles of my life. Excellent, excellent. Hans, I look forward to meeting you. This is going to be one hell of a party when Dean moves in. Well, I would, I would like, if I could, I would like to get an insight, please. I, I am very excited to in the area by Sunset Boulevard. Uh, it's great. <laughs> Hans is having a hard time keeping a straight face now. <laughs> I hope he doesn't crash. 1-800-5-800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Jim on the Tom Like His Show for Dino. Hello. Dean, I got a song for you. Go ahead, Jim. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor? Show <laughs> <laughs> me up, son. I'll play up, baby. Here you go. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. This is Jason. On the top of his show. Oh, yeah. You thought Mr. Rogers' neighborhood was something. Well, Dean goes strolling down Santa Monica Boulevard looking for a bagel. Was Mr. Rogers ever married? That's a very good question. Or mari married, uh, recognized by any state? I have no idea. Now that he's dead, though, we could speculate. I'm on just that. wondering. I'm not saying anything incriminating. I'm just wondering. No, you could say it. He's dead now. I always thought the guy was gay. Not yeah. that there would be anything wrong with that. But come on, what straight guy acts like that? Come on. Even a sweater vest, you're really pushing it. I know. It's uh, Jason, real quick. Jason on the top, like his show. Hello. Dean, how's it hanging, man? Uh, today, uh, it's shriveling up, actually. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> listen, I just wanted to, I have a couple friends that might be moving into the area. They might be interested in West Hollywood. I was uh, wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your uh, apartment. Like, what's the floor plan? Like, how's the lake? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Nine zero six nine. I'm ready to rock. The Tom Likas Show.